So I'm going to go through this introduction, overview of the devices, and some art uh, introduce our sales partners here, technical partners, and some R&D plans, and then question and answer, hopefully, if you have time. This is me. Most of you would know me. Um, I've got a PhD in mechanical engineering. I've been working here and there from Australia, Europe, and uh, the US. Um, and I'm currently uh, in APAC and account manager. Uh, I've done quite a lot of different things and I love love doing you know sports as well and blogging. So if you, you can find us here, uh, we have across the world, we have sales partners and technical partners, over 30 of them. Just simply go to this link and you can find us, all the uh, information are there. And we've got really good knowledge platform. It, uh, just go there, knowledge.motechmedical.com. There's a lot of information from white paper, body of knowledge, clinical practice, research, etc. You can find a lot of things over there. And some of you guys may have seen this, but uh, it's good to just go quickly over there. So he started, Motec started in 1994. It was um, it was basically um, gaming related <laughs> technology, but it evolved as you can see things evolve. The Karen evolved, and then the Grail system, and now even Simil VR system, and even Ryzen one, which is just you can go everywhere and um, do all sort of clinical assessments. So I'll, I'll talk about some of these things, but there are some future works as well that you will hear as we go. Um, so this is. One of the key things we, we actually do is we do integrate things and we um, build systems. As you can see here, there are lots of different parts you can add eventually and come to a complete system, for instance, from motion capture, VR, um, a treadmill, and all of them are integrated, for instance, from using a software package that you can, can uh, easily integrate them all, I mean, third party. And if you look at, for instance, our, say, treadmill setup, it's actually quite interesting because you can start just fully instrument a split belt a treadmill that each belt can be controlled. And then, you know, eventually build all the way to a full system that we call it Grail system. Um, and you can add, like, you can add uh, motion capture, you can add, uh, say, uh, virtual reality, and then this virtual reality can be even the screen that you are immersed into it. It's similar to, like, we call it Karen system. But the difference between Karen and Grail is mainly is the um, motion base, which is this one is like two degrees of freedom, but that one can go in all degrees of freedom, like six degrees of freedom. So let me quickly go over our, our partners. We have quite many partners in uh, across APAC, Australasia. Uh, so I'll quickly go. I apologize if I don't go deeply, you know, because each one, you know, really deserve to be discussed. But if I just leave them, leave them for a sec for, for a few seconds here so that you guys get all the information that you need. We have in Australia, Logamess, they're doing quite a lot of things in motion capture technology and uh, related. And you can you can find them here. We have Korea. We have two people, two uh, one uh, Django Trade here. We have they've done M Gate, and you know since 2009 they are, they are uh, with us and they're doing a lot in rehabilitation. We have India, Manveda. Uh, he's doing quite well a lot in terms of biomechanics, VR, and neurophysiology. And you can contact him, and he's got really good contacts uh, within uh, in, in India. And we have Hong Kong. Um, they are they're expanding their work uh, with us in um, terms of sales and marketing, as well as me medical equipment in neuroscience, support, and uh, rehabilitation, and uh, uh, and related to, um, basically um, technologies. So doing they are in starting building things for the next few years. And we have Korea, another company. We have Dori. Uh, they have installed actually the Karen system and one M gate system uh, quite recently. And you can contact them. There's uh, information here. We have Malaysia. Uh, we have Aslan and their team. They're doing focus on motion analysis, but they're doing quite a lot of things as well uh, as our partner. And we have Singapore, they, uh, Pemindar and his team, they do quite a lot of cutting your simulation systems and they've done uh, ST, I mean, this is the, their, their website, you can just go ahead and have a look. They've done quite a lot of things and they actually have, uh, I think the first one, the first uh, cat and high end in, in this area. Uh, have a look what they're doing and in Taiwan we have um, uh, basically ample medical and they're doing in rehabilitation and sport medicine they have done a C meal so they have sold one C meal but they're going to expand upon it and in Japan we have Interra 
who are doing really uh, amazing work and recently installed two Grail and uh, one Grail and one MGate system, as well as a Simul, and they're expanding to other areas and sport rehabilitation, and Yushi and him, his team. In Thailand, um, we have a, uh, we have um, uh, basically Thrapad and his team. They've done really cool things recently. Um, we are building for them an M-gate, and they're going to be installed in the next few months, hopefully. Um, yeah, sorry, I had to be quick. Just wanted to give you an overview of all the partners and who can help you guys in this in this area. But coming back to the applications, so we have a lot of applications and people who are doing cool things with our systems. So if you, have, if you look at our tutorials and uh, YouTube or our social media, you can see some of the applications that um, we even contributed, but our um, customers also have shared with us. And for instance, look at look at what's happening. One of our engineers showing the ability of current system to have just one stick and to be, you know, erect. Have a look at this stick here. You know what he's doing. He's even perturbing it, uh, but the Karen is able to adjust so that the stick is still, you know, erect. You see, and it can be quite fast. It's quite amazing, right? And then we have we have um, another amazing work we had last year, a video contest um, from all over the world. We are lacking 16, 17 videos. This is one of them that Karen La Karen system has been connected to uh, the eye, eye uh, tracking system that you can see here, Karen and eye tracking. What Bill is doing here in um, their university is just trying to find targets using just his eyes and then, you know, um, hitting them basically or exploding them in a sense. Um, and here is you, you see in the Wycon system how the eye tracking works, okay? In a sport, you guys um, can imagine all sort of things in a sport you can do, um, just running and even running and perturbation type of things, for instance. You can do all sort of things. And this is this is another big area of perturbation based training that people are doing quite extensively. So this is the current system in, in Melbourne. And this is me who uh, um, I just con connected just a simple joystick to the system. So basically I'm controlling the whole system using a system, a simple joystick. And you can see a person is walking and I'm just uh, perturbing that person using uh, an external device. You can see if you want us to have a look again. Yep. And the, the other thing that people actually doing quite extensively is um, exoskeletal and robotic systems. They want to control and understand their robots better. So you see how their robots react uh, and how they can design them better using, for instance, Karen system. The future directions are, are quite exciting, as you can see, wide range of applications and so many things people are doing. You cannot really show them in half an hour, but I just wanted to give you an idea what's going on in the start discussions. Um, one of the major ch changes that's happening is, is our system, which is we have the flow, we call the major, the, the, the software that we have, we could integrate all these systems together. As you can see, the force blades, projectors, EMG, motion capture, all these hardware that we have are being connected through this system, we, can, we call them D-flow or data flow. And um, one of the major things that we have is a VR. So VR games, for instance, and uh, we know that we knew that we, uh, our customers really needed to be able to do all sort of um, scenarios and we needed to uh, integrate with the system that are that giving this ability, and uh, that uh, one of them one of them is Unity, the in, uh, the game engine. So we have connected Unity to the Dflow, and this is the next generation of the Dflow. And you'll hear more and more about these two integration, how you can actually use all these systems within Unity, and then bring it into Dflow and do all sort of programming with it. And uh, the conferences that we're going to, and thanks to some of our uh, colleagues, uh, I think would be around here as well, the Graham and, you know, um, Yushi and uh, Melvin, who will attend ISPGR in, um, in July in Brisbane, and ISP and JSP are together this year in, in Japan. If you guys are into it, so please go, go ahead, and I think our, our partner will be there. Um, yeah, these are the major things that's happening this year. And if you guys have anything else, let me know. 
And these are some of the links that we I also brought them during the discussion. So the LinkedIn group, please join us. We have a group that people get together and discuss things. Knowledge platform, as I said, there's a lot of things happening there from the clinical research based papers, publications and the tutorials as um, I showed you some of the applications. So thank you very much. And I just want to open the floor for discussions. If you have any questions, so let me just stop sharing and um, then see if there's any questions or. Please feel free to um, unmute yourself or just type your question in the chat. So I try to be as quick as possible, especially because we started late. Um, and let me know what, what you think. And apologies for if you couldn't see part of it or if you couldn't see the whole presentation, I'll just um, send you the recording. I think, yeah, there's a question from Graham. Hey, Graham. I get the the eye tracking was Toby, I guess, if I am not wrong, the Toby one, I guess. Integrate VO2 system analysis. Yes, yes, definitely. The, we already have done and the EEG. Yeah, when I was in Melbourne University, we did quite a lot of experiments with EEG. We did uh, EEG and the perturbation uh, as well. So we collected data on the current system using EEG, EMG, and uh, in another setup, we did VO2 as well, VO2 max, we all sort of, you know, connections. But the, you, should, you should know that. So that um, sometimes the integration, uh, EEG is okay, you can actually do that, but VO2, maybe they have their own systems. Uh, so sometimes you probably need to collect data and then synchronize them, but uh, with the new version, you probably can integrate them all together via, uh, for instance, uh, what you may call it, the Unity-based version that we have. But the answer to your question in terms of VO2 or EEG, yes, we can. You're welcome, Garam, yep. It's exciting area in terms of uh, what you call it, in terms of the integration of like eye tracking and these type of things. It's it's so very amazing uh, things you can do. Another question is coming from: Can we integrate coalesces? Yes, that's also possible. But we uh, you have to talk to us about this one or our sales partners. Please talk to them. Um, you know we we. Our preference is why consistent. Of course, it's already integrated, but we have uh, add-ons that we can actually provide for qualysis and uh, we can help you with others, but it's not like in, in the pipeline that we actually do. You can theoretically connect any any uh, motion capture system, but we prefer, say, Wycan and qualysis. Yeah. There are more questions are coming. Yeah, feel free to type your questions. It's it's quite weird that we cannot, um, what should we call it? Okay, there's another question. How could we reprogram with Grail on Unity? Do you have predefined VR games that we can modify? Okay, that's a that's an amazing question. So let me let me tell you an, uh, a little bit of background. So. Uh, as you know, we have like if you have used our system, we have Dflow, as I showed you, like a software that we have to integrates all of them. So we already we already have VR. So we actually um, use virtual reality, and we can do it. We we are based on another uh, package. We call it. It's called Augury. Um, but it wasn't like it was open source, but it was a bit challenging for people to develop things. But Unity is much more um, available, easy, like millions of people are using them. And it's, it's quite user friendly these days. So yes, to uh, quickly answer your question, um, you do you, you you can program in Unity and then bring it to Dflow. That's one way you can actually have use our predefined. So we will have predefined VR games. Uh, we're trying to actually redo pretty much um, or some of the things that we already had before, like um, simple walking and different scenarios. We are doing them or finding targets, things like that, and they are being done with our team so that you can already have and you have the system, you already have them um, on, uh, on your system and you have the ability to develop your own. 
there you can actually bring the scenes, bring bring any any algorithm, and um, do whatever you like with it, whatever the Unity allows, basically. And then it's as simple as that. You can you can simply import or bring it to uh, to Dflow, and Dflow will will integrate it with all other um, hardware that we have and project it on on the screen. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very exciting area when when whenever we start doing that, hopefully in the next couple of years, it's not something we let me tell you another another maybe challenges that we have. It's not challenge. It's always it's to take time. We have one big uh, what you may call it customers that they um, that we are installing for them in in the US. Can I'll tell them who they are, but you will hear soon um, that um, the first users will be them. The unity based basically and then we, we will expand to our uh, other customers as we go uh it's already there but you know that implementation all the mdr we have to go through all the details and um, that will take a little bit of time uh, but i would suggest that if you are into it so start learning unity <laughs> start you know thinking about what you want to do um and because as soon as you get it you have opportunities you have numerous opportunities to develop games and applications you're welcome tian so is there any other questions it's amazing great questions um i'm excited uh yeah feel free i showed you my um if, my contact you know if you are interested as i said we have amazing team uh, of um, partners in apac um and they are well educated well uh, known about like they know very well our system so even if there's anything that um this discussion they can can contact me or we can actually all get together to discuss it and uh, because every every lab or every um, application is different, so you should come with, with your own basically challenges, and then we, we we will see how we can meet your your needs basically. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people going working in different as you can see here from neuroscience, from biomechanics, from psychology, from you know it's it's a wide range. Don't just think it's just you can you can call it human performance, and then you can have an umbrella there's a lot of things that people do any any other questions that you may have or you would like to no but i really appreciate that uh, you guys uh, came on board and feel free to sense yeah i'll yep yeah, i think there's another question coming just wait for that Yeah, in the meantime, if, if you guys have any specific applications or um, any challenges, even, you know, that the process, we know that the process going from, um, you know, your needs all the way to, to have the system, it's, it's a quite long time, you know, and we understand it. So feel free to talk um, as soon as possible. Don't just wait until, let's say, you know, people just wait for like grants or, you know, things like that, that they have funding to 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 buy because usually these systems are quite expensive. You're, you're welcome, Brett. And um, yeah, feel free to start this, especially with our partners. They are, they are you know, more than happy to talk to you guys um, about all the details and you never know what they can provide or what, you know, we are, we are, we are here to just help you guys. So if there's no question, um, maybe I can call today and wish you all the very best and feel free to contact us about any of the things that we discussed. Thank you very much and hopefully see you all uh, in one of these conferences, the upcoming conferences. Cheers.